All right, uh, let's get started with news you can use. Two items, uh, this is, uh, we're giving you the California runaround here today. Uh, two things, two news items from California. And the reason I talk about California a lot is you can, you can see uh, typically trends will start out here and work their way east. So things that, you know, become laws or issues out here will eventually become things in the rest of the states. Uh, second, uh, first of all, so for the, for the year 2021 and actually for 2020, the last two years, California has lost population. They've never lost population year over year until 2020. People started moving out. Um, you know, COVID was a, a good reason for that, but it's continued on. Um, and it, it's a fairly significant uh, decline in population. Like I said, we've never had this in 160 years of statehood until the last a uh, couple of years, but the, the primary beneficiaries of uh, the, the Californians who move out are Idaho, first of all, number one, number two, Utah, number three, Texas, number four, New Mexico. So, you know, people are, are tend to be staying in the West, but we're filling up those other areas. So uh, like my sister and brother-in-law, for example, they lived in the Sacramento suburbs, um, you know, basically their, their whole life. Um, and then they last year sold their house and moved to Boise, Idaho, and they're in that group mass of uh, non-welcome Californians in Idaho. And so you're going to see that continue, I believe, for the next couple of years at least until we get some sense of normalcy here in the state. And I don't know if that's going to happen because of things like this. Item number two, there is another new proposed California law. Keep your eye on this one. This is going to affect everybody everywhere, I think, at some point. This is uh, this is Bill AB, Assembly Bill 854. 854. Remember that number because this could affect everybody in every state. Um, the proposed California law will require landlords to own a property for at least five years before they can evict a tenant. So Here's how that's going to affect everybody, and it's it's a horrendous effect. So it will end flipping in California if there is a renter in the house, because you wouldn't be able to flip a property for five more years after you buy it. Um, it will also uh, keep uh, rents. Uh, it, it will actually make rents go up because we'll we'll price as landlords we'll price into the into the mix. Um, you know, a, a premium to cover the risk that we are encountering by keeping somebody five years. So, you know, you expect rents will go up. That's number two. And then number three, it's, you know, no one's going to want to be a landlord in California primarily. So people are going to be flooding the market, trying to sell properties off before this thing becomes law. I doubt this will become law before next January. So you may see an, an additional mass exodus of California landlords uh, out of the state of California. So it's good. This is just, it, to me, it's a total disaster. If you were have to buy a house and you want to flip it, but you've got to keep the tenant in there for up to five more years, or actually five years plus, before you can evict them, clean out the house, and then resell it. And they're specifically going after landlords uh, who want to profit from flipping their house. They're trying to keep, uh, they call them serial evictors and serial property speculators. That's the terms that they're using now. So they've got in the crosshairs, they've got us as real estate investors in that crosshairs. They're coming after real estate investors because we are quote, serial evictors and serial speculators. So we'll see what happens uh, if this thing makes it through. It probably will because uh, of the nature and the makeup of our state government here in California. But, um, you know, I'm not sure what, what will happen after that. So they expect that it will wipe out about 95% of all flips in California. Uh, if you guys get stuff like this, and I expect New York, Illinois will have them next, it will be darn near impossible to flip a house unless you buy it directly from a homeowner who's lived in the house. If there's been a tenant in there or there's a tenant in there currently, you may not be able to flip that property. And then when they say flip, they're talking any kind of flip. So we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know.